Hey guys, Mechanic CG here, and welcome back to Forza Motorsport 4. Today is episode number 100. If you guys are enjoying the content, then be sure to leave a like, comment down below, subscribe, and feel free to hit that join button as it really does help support the channel. Hopefully, you guys enjoy. This episode was streamed live on YouTube. If you want to make sure to catch the streams, then be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell. If you want to get cheap game keys for Xbox, PlayStation, or PC, then check out Eniba in the description down below. All right, so we're here for the Murcielago Club. We're going to be taking the Lamborghini Murcielago, specifically the SV, uh, the Super Veloce, I think that's what it stands for. Uh, and then once we've done that, we're actually going to fast track and go for the GT Race Club Ferrari. So we're going to do both of those in this episode. So we're going to start off with the Mercia Largo, Rally Depositano, Bernie's Alps, and then the Tokyo Circuit. Let's get going. How far into uh, Motorsport 1 are you? Oh, I love the look. Honestly, the Mercia Largo SV is one of the best looking cars. Such a beauty. Doing endurance races. Ah, fair enough. Can't fault that. Oi! You tit. Second to last endurance race. Is that the second to last event to do for you then? Oh, he's had a big crash. Ah, I've had a partial crash. Trying to drive this around uh, Rally Depositano is not ideal. One left after this and I'm 100%. Fair enough, fair enough. Are you going to be starting on Motorsport 2 after that? Whoop. I would likely, I, I would kindly like to request for you to fuck off, Lamborghini. <laughs> Get out my way. Move! Oh. Ah, fair enough. Yeah, so I'm... I think I'm about 40% of the way done now with Motorsport 4. I think a majority of these events are, like, shorter ones. I don't think there's actually any long... Ooh, he's messed that one up. I don't think there's any long championships. Oh, he's really messing this up. Yeah, I don't think there's any long championships until the very end now. A majority of the lengthly, lengthly, is that the word? Lengthy? A majority of the longer events were all in the middle section, so. Used to be dirty words. This is new to me. Yeah, I, I believe it is. There are some really, really good ones. I think there's also a good uh, variety of Pendulum songs in these as well. I want to say I've heard Crush featured in Motorsport 3. I know Crush has been featured in one of them. Um, 
There's a couple of other Pendulum songs as well. Pendulum's got a good variety of songs in racing games. Crush might have been the one that was in um, Undercover, actually. No, it can't have been. It might have been a different one then. I can't remember. Whoop! Car is unstable! The lines, the truth ain't hard to find inside your mind. <laughs> I love this song so much. It's such a good one. This is the best pen, uh, chemist song. 100%. It just gets you hyped up. Whoop. Look at the flaps. The Murcielago's got the little flaps. I love that about the Murcielago range. The fact that they all have those little air vents. The only thing I don't understand about the Lamborghini right is the fact why on earth do those fins exist? Like, the only purpose that they can have is aerodynamic. Because here's the issue. You're in second gear. You're revving the ever-living fuck out of the car. That would genuinely need more air than it does at higher speeds. Hence why I don't understand why the flaps come out now. It made more sense if it was the other way around. So they must be aerodynamic. It can't be for like cooling. But no, it's actually quite cool seeing the active arrow on all the cars. Well, it's not on all the cars in this game. But it's just on a significant amount. And it increases. Stuart Ashens. Who's that? We're going to take it back.
I know you're gonna lose control, yeah, lose control. Mm -hmm. There are, honestly, there's some, there's some absolute gems. The chemist knew how to make music for racing games. Like, I don't think that was their intention, but their music and their style perfectly fitted a lot of racing games. Drum and bass fits a lot of racing games. Same with rock music fits. Pop music doesn't. Neither does hip hop. But like, rock and drum and bass are the two genres that work really well in racing games. Hence why this playlist and at any time I'm playing music on stream, majority of the songs are either drum and bass or rock songs. Or metal. But most of them... They're very well picked. It's not just, oh, I'm picking random songs that I like or whatnot. Sometimes that's the case. But majority of the songs do very well suit racing games. Lose control, yeah, lose control. <laughs> right, it's time for Top Gear. Dun -dun -dun -dun. Dun -dun -dun -dun. Wait, does that actually show... Ah, oh, the clock on the car actually shows the real time. Shows that it's not, like, 9.20. That is epic. That's actually cool attention to detail. Except for the fact it's not the, like the real time, but, you know, it'll still... Shit. It will still do. I'm gonna try and go around that way. Oh my gosh, I would oh my Oh no way there's a respawn <laughs> That's the first time I've ever seen that There's a respawn in that what What Okay also, you still didn't answer my question, Gono. Who is that? Search on YouTube. That doesn't answer my question. Who is that? I'm literally live streaming, if you couldn't tell. Like, I can't just search up on YouTube.
Okay, cool. Good, good for you. <laughs> To be fair, that would be quite a cool experience for me if I met. There's a couple of YouTubers that I genuinely think would be quite cool to meet. Black Panther's one of them. He's like fucking funny as fuck. So, if I could meet Black Panther, that would be mental. Way. Not bad. I will take that result with a sprinkle of salt. I thought the game crashed then. I had a mild panic attack. Alright, so we're now here for the Ferrari GT Club. Now the Ferrari FXX is the cover car. And I was tempted. But I've driven the FXX quite a bit. So... We're going to go with Miguelo, then Bernie's Alps, and then Rally de Positano. Right, here we go. Let's do this. Miguelo circuit. Got the 599 XX. Holy shit, this thing's got a lot of power towards the rear wheels. That's that uh, F40 Evolution, isn't it? That one is a beast to drive. Do you know, it's quite crazy to think the amount of Ferrari race cars that are in this game compared to like any other Forza. Speed. Oh my gosh, this is so much fun. I should probably drive this normally. I I'm like struggling to drive this. There we go, not bad. Whoa. 
not bad. This is so fast. Coming out with bullet holes and deep scars. I feel like Forza would have been so much fun when it came out. And especially with how this game, like, handles drifting. I bet it was fun. It's one thing I miss for multiplayer. The fact that video games now don't rely on their own servers, like locally made servers, blows my mind. I think for games like Call of Duty, fair enough, it can have hosted servers, but games like this, this should be the local option. It's just crazy that it doesn't exist anymore. Yeah, no, there's definitely an issue with this. Uh, this is lagging like a like a bitch every time I press continue, so... My Xbox may be on its way out. Right, here we go. This thing's got so much power, it's unbelievable. This reminds me of Example a little bit, actually. Oi. Yeah, that serves you right for trying to uh, push your way past. Always, you must leave a gap. Change my mind. Overdone it.
Definitely need to try and uh, improve that one a little bit. Let's keep this going. Get the inside, get the inside. Mm, nope. Oh, he's going in the bin. He's going in the bin. Oh, he's going in the bin. He's really gone in the bin. Fucking hell. Anything to make me feel alive. That was a nice slide. I like that. Right, here we go. Let's do this. Final race of this championship. Maybe the final race of the stream. Because I think I just want to do a short one today. Hello! Move! Oh my gosh, trying to drive this round here is unrealistic. I genuinely cannot keep control of this car. There's no way you can keep control of the car in first or second gear. But I'm keeping the traction control off. I'm sticking with it. Got to get practice in. That Ferrari in front definitely would have been the better choice. And that's probably why it's ahead right now.
See, this is the issue with this, is trying to get a car to actually drive. On a track like this, this car is not designed for this. And I think this was a very poor choice of track for this championship. No, 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 no. Not allowed to do that. What in the ever living fuck are you doing? Let's go. Dive bomb. Ah. This thing's got so much more power, but it's just, you can't control it. Not even the AI can do it. And then the game freezes again. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like, comment down below and subscribe. And I will see you in the next one. Peace out.